pertaining the generation of velocity and acceleration uh, as a as a relative entity. So let me uh, let me give you the, the description of the problem. We have a a track, the yellow one, and there is a block sitting on it, which starts on the on the right side and it's traveling along the x axis. You see that, and a propeller, the orange one, which is sitting in that configuration at the initial time. So the block begins to move to the along the x direction. Uh, at the rate of one inch per second, velocity of one inch per second, and the propeller begins to rotate uh, in the counterclockwise direction about the z-axis, as you see it set up here, uh, at the rate of uh, 60 RPM, which is uh, 2 pi radians per second, or uh, 360 degrees per second. Okay, what I would like to do is to plot the velocity, uh, velocity of the propeller the tip of the propeller, right at that location, relative to the block and relative to the ground, and same thing with the acceleration, and uh, compare those with the analytical solution that one gets from elementary uh, kinematics. So let me show you how the uh, what what the formulas are which are govern govern these things. So if you go here, uh, this is the same orientation of the track and the the block and propeller and the XYZ coordinate system. So we have the relative acceleration, relative velocity uh, equation from Fisher uh, uh, dynamics, velocity of propeller. This is all, these are all absolute, well, the ones on the left at least are the absolute velocities. Uh, the first two, uh, velocity of propeller relative to the ground, velocity of the block relative to the ground, and the velocity of the propeller relative to the block, okay? Now, we know that because this is, uh, the propeller is turning at a constant angular speed, the position, uh, the position of the uh, tip of the propeller uh, relative to the block is given by this thing that you see here. Uh, now, by the way, it is true that what I wrote here, x of t and y of t, these particular two are uh, uh, relative to the, uh, relative to uh, 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 the block, right? So uh, it is relative to the block. It's not relative to the ground, because obviously x increases uh, also because of the motion of the block. Now, if we take the, uh, the derivative of this thing, uh, if we take the derivative of this thing, we're going to get the, uh, the 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 relative velocity of the propeller uh, relative to the block, and you're going to get r omega cos omega t. And if you add to that the velocity of the block, you're going to get uh, three, assuming that it's going at the rate of three inch per second. I might have said one inch per second, but what I meant was three inch per second. So if the block moves at three inch per second. Uh, and the radius is r, r means the length of the propeller, we get uh, r, uh, 3 plus r omega cosine omega t. Now, what we like to do, we like to compare the results of generating a t with respect to this, okay? So keep in mind that what, what you see there, this is the relative velocity in the x direction uh, of uh, uh, the propeller relative to the block, and this is the uh, absolute velocity of the tip of the propeller relative to the ground, okay? So this is uh, relative, and this is absolute. absolute, obviously relative to the ground. So uh, this is that in the x component, and what you see here is that portion. All right, now I've also generated this thing with MathCAD. Here's the MathCAD, uh, the MathCAD uh, worksheet, so radius is three, uh, omega is 2 pi r radians, 2 pi r radians per second, 
velocity of the block is three inch per second. And what I wrote, what I've done here is uh, exactly what I showed you before. So this thing is, uh, this is the, uh, the relative to the ground, tip relative to the ground. And this is the, uh, the, the uh, tip relative to the block. And of course, this is the actual uh, velocity of the block, which is constant. These are plotted there, and these are the things that you want to generate to compare with uh, uh, our Katia model. All right. So uh, already uh, all the joints have been created. There's a prismatic joint between the the block and the track, and there's a revolute joint between the uh, the, the block and the propeller. Now, what we have done here, we have created uh, three points, uh, sensors, three sensors. One of them is uh, the tip, the tip. Uh, let me let me do these things uh, from the beginning. So let me delete these. Let me delete these sensors. Okay. So the first one is going to be uh, propeller. Prop tip, propeller, relative, this is velocity, yeah, rel sorry, I don't mean velocity, so it's a relative uh, to the block, propeller relative to the block. Now notice what it says here, it's asking for reference product, since we are doing propeller relative to the block, for the reference product, I will select the block. I won't select the track. Okay, track is stationary. That's why uh, for relative, we have to select the, as the reference product block. And for the, 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 the point selection is going to be the tip of the propeller. So that's the first one. Another one. Another uh, speed acceleration sensor. For this one, I mean the prop relative to the ground. Ground means that uh, the track, okay? Think about it as a track, ground, relative to the ground, okay? So for the reference product, the thing that we're finding the velocity with respect to is this track and for the point, is still the same point. And finally, uh, I want to plot the velocity of the block relative to the ground, which means that, uh, so let me do it like that. So uh, block relative to ground. So the reference product is the, the track. And for the point, uh, I can take the tip of the any of these any of these corner points uh, of the block, and we say okay. All right. Now we're going to do this thing over a five-second interval, so uh, everything already has been set here as far as the laws is concerned. So this is two pi radians per second for the revolute angle driven. And this is the linear velocity, three inch per second, which is length driven for the prismatic. Okay. So uh, simulation with laws. There is a five second interval and we're gonna activate the sensors. Okay, so let's see. The first uh, set of uh, entities are propeller relative to the block and we want the X linear speed, X linear speed, okay? The X component, X linear speed, okay. And then we want uh, propeller relative to the ground. So we go down here, propeller relative to the ground and this, of course, means the absolute velocity. This one is the absolute velocity of the tip of the propeller relative to, uh, well, relative to whatever is stationary, inertial frame of reference, which is 
the ground. So this is going to be, although it says propel relative to ground, what it refer, what obviously it's uh, asking for what is what is being generated is the uh, this is what I want uh, linear speed. So this is the absolute velocity of the propeller tip relative to the ground. And finally, for the block relative to the ground, again x linear speed. This is simply the constant three inch per second velocity of the the block. Okay, so we're going to play this. Great, and then we're going to graph it. Okay, so you can see that these are the three things that we asked for. The red one is uh, let's let's start with something that's obvious. So we want the uh, block uh, block relative to the ground. Oh, I think by mistake I asked for angular speed. So let me let me close this thing. Let me go. We have to rewind this, rewind this, and clear the history. And my selection for the last one was incorrect. If you look at the last one, I accidentally asked for x angular speed. I don't want this. I want x linear speed. X linear speed. Okay. So play it. When it reaches the end, you graph it. All right, good, good. So the red one, block relative to the ground. Oh, this time I asked for x linear acceleration. I don't know why I'm, I may have making this mistake. Anyway, linear is correct, but it's not what I want. It's uh, linear speed. So let me see for a second. X linear. This is not what I want. I want linear speed, x linear speed. I'm sorry, that one. Block relative to the ground, linear speed. So uh, rewind. So last, last try. I'm sure this is okay now. So play, play it. Okay, and graph it. There, that's better. Okay. So the red one is velocity of the block relative to the ground. That means three inch per second that I specify. The yellow one, the yellow one is the propeller relative to the block. That's the basic sinusoidal. That's the that's the yellow one that you can see. So it's a sinusoid that you expect. And in fact, if you check it against the, if you if you look at the yellow yellow curve, the tip of the yellow curve, you can see that the tip of the yellow curve. If you look at this area, this area, the white area here, when you select the tip of the, uh, the tip of that the yellow curve, it says 18.858865. So if you go to MathCat, it's this, uh, it's this blue one that you see here, the blue one, and in fact, the actual number, I've got it for you here, 18.88. What I want. The, the the red one is going to be three inches on top of the blue one because it's, uh, it's, it's three inch per second is superimposed on that. So if you go and select this green thing, you're going to see it's around, uh, the green thing is around 21, uh, about 21 something. In fact, if you put the, cur the cursor on the tip, uh, on the apex of this, uh, uh, green curve at the bottom in this in this location where the numbers are pe numbers appear it says 21 point uh, something to 21.3 so which is in agreement with what I just said uh, you know uh, uh, eight plus that so assuming that you yeah, have 21.85 okay so uh, this tells you how it's very, this tells you it's very easy to generate uh, velocities of different points relative to other points, relative to other other uh, coordinate system, and the coordinate system here I mean other parts.